Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So let's uh, look at some viewer questions and we'll look at it, some eBay sales as well. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, first off real quick, uh, I've let most everybody know, but uh, you know, my last video I was mentioning I was considering starting a separate channel in regards to uh, to, uh, you know content specifically related to toy collecting, nostalgia, video games, and all that stuff. I went ahead and did that. It's called Radical Retro. Uh, I'll leave the link in, to that channel. It's in my featured channel section, but with all my other YouTube channels, uh, including my wife's channel and my chicken channel and my Magic the Gathering channel. Uh, I probably won't be doing any work on the Magic to the Gathering channel anymore. I have to put it aside. I got too much stuff going on. But I'll leave uh, the link to the channel down in the description box just in case. I don't want to miss anybody. I don't want people to suddenly be like, where did the toy videos go? Uh, so it's pretty fun. Uh, you know, starting another channel, it's always, it's always motivating to try to grow a small channel. Even though this channel is still small too, but you know what I mean. Less than a thousand subscribers. So thanks for everybody that uh, jumped over there and subscribed to that. And thanks to everybody that uh, left your comments, uh, gave me your opinions and everything. It sounds to me like uh, the consensus was that, uh, you know, it, it'll be fine. Uh, everybody uh, felt like it's no problem just to, to go ahead and subscribe to that channel too. Uh, so sounds good. I won't interrupt the flow of this channel. Uh, other than the fact that I'll have the separate channel for the toys and stuff that's not uh, eBay reseller related stuff. All right, let's look at some viewer comments. Uh, Frog, <laughs> uh, Frog, um, bad word commented, question, if I put a book in a package and also put comic books with it, is that still media mail because there is a book in it? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, well, I think the answer is technically no. Uh, the thing about media mail is that if, uh, first off, you know, so whenever you pay for media mail, you are basically acknowledging that the USPS has the right to go in and open your package and inspect it. So it's just a matter of whether you were to get caught or not, really. Um, but technically, I think, no, if, it, if there's any comic books, you can't take a stack of comic books and put in there and then just put one book in it and then try to pass that off as media mail, technically. I mean... If that, if you could do that, then I mean, what would stop you from taking a stack of Nerf guns and then putting a couple books in with it too, and trying to ship that media mail? So to answer the question, technically, no. Uh, Samson Papaya commented, "I watched an episode episode where you were packaging your He-Man. My question is, where do you get those little boxes? Thanks. Uh, good question, Samson. I I left the I responded to your comment and uh, you know left the links to the boxes I bought. I just bought them off of a." A hundred packs of different sizes off of eBay. I got the um, four by four by four. Then I got the six by four by four. And then lastly, I use a lot the eight by six by four. So any of those sizes, you can get a hundred for l probably thirty dollars at the most for the highest one around that price. And I'll leave the links to the boxes I bought. It's just I just find the cheapest ones for sale in, a, in the quantity of 100 on eBay. Got a comment here from Edward. Uh, can you ship decals media mail? Uh, I don't know exactly what a decal is. If you're talking about a sticker or something, uh, I think probably not. You know, if it's not a, you know, what you can't, I'll tell you what you can ship media mail. You can ship books. You can ship movies. Um, you can ship, uh, you can ship computer media. Uh, basically stuff that's like, has advertisements and such is what you can't ship, even though you would think you can. Like magazines, you're not supposed to be able to ship. Comic books, you're not be able, supposed to be able to ship. So a decal, I mean, that doesn't seem like a piece of media to me. So I'm guessing you, the answer is no. Uh, Epic Gamer commented, I want to sell something with no returns because if, if they even touch it, it loses value and thus I lose money from a return uh, from a return. So is there a way for that to work without them saying it's defective or whatever? Uh, <laughs> as far as I know, no, there's nothing stopping a, a buyer from saying an item is defective. I mean, anybody can say that, you know, for any reason. Um, so um, if it's, if the item's super valuable, you may, I don't know. 
maybe eBay isn't the best place to sell just anything. I, I know that's not the most satisfying answer, but uh, I think it's the truth. All right, I got this my eBay room cleaned back up and my toy collection room cleaned back up. These boxes here are death pile stuff, basically. I, I went ahead and listed the perfect pull-up set. Um, but uh, yeah, I still haven't even went after these trolls and try, tried to go through those and list those up. I got a whole tub of those vintage trolls. And I got my collection pretty reorganized here. Uh, I'm gonna give that a toy collection tour soon on my other channel. But before I do that, I've still got uh, the Masters of the Universe Origins uh, Wave uh, 5 to do an unboxing. I'm gonna have those out in my display before I do the toy room tour. So. So yeah, for my Radical Retro channel, my next couple videos will probably be first Wave 5 of Masters of the Universe Origins unboxing. That'll be cool. Then um, at some point I have some cool vintage toys coming from ShopGoodwill.com. Uh, some that I had as a kid and it's going to be really exciting. Or I, I think it's going to be exciting. I'm going to try to make a little uh, documentary video on that. But then uh, I may do that after the toy room video actually. Uh, so I think maybe the next two videos coming out within those videos will be my updated toy room tour. So go, so stay subscribed and check it out. Look at this baby. All these toys and what is she playing with? A piece of cardboard. Actually, it turns out this this cherry pie I got at the thrift store, it sells for like 30 bucks plus shipping, like 40 bucks. So that was a good one. Squishables. Snuggle Amy retired limited edition cherry pie. All right, here's a little Nerf lot that sold. We got three uh, Nerf rival blasters, all matching white. Uh, the Kronos, the Apollo, and I think the Helios. Those three there together sold for $52.29 total paid by the customer. All right, here's some more sales. We've got, uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, the Nerf zombie strike blasters I just got recently on uh, I think it might I might show you on this video um, the uh, sledge fire and the sling fire uh, those two blasters together there sold for sixty five dollars and forty seven cents total paid by the customer then we got uh, this chip Disney Parks chip hat chip kids hat that there sold for fifteen ninety five total paid by the customer uh, we got uh, this spider man into the spider verse mask. I bought that a while ago. Uh, been sitting for a while. I finally sold it for thirteen twenty-eight total, paid by the customer. Then we got uh, from my Mega Blocks. I had a lot of dragons for sale. Somebody just wanted to buy this one. Twenty-six tw uh, sixty-eight total, paid by the customer for that dragon. And uh, vintage of the Masters of the Universe uh, Castle Grayskull ladder. Uh, that ladder sold for twenty six sixty total to pay by the customer. And then we got uh, Donkey Kong Country three for Super Nintendo. That was from that thrift store. Lot of great games I got not too long ago. Thirty ninety nine total to pay by the customer. And we got uh, that Groot twelve inch action figure. Uh, that one this time sold for twenty four eighty three total to pay by the customer. And finally from my old media lot that. Uh, was a really good one from not too long ago. Donna Reed season two. Donna Reed show sold for twenty five eighty eight total paid by the customer. All right, I sold this uh, Bass Pro Shop hat. That's one from I paid twenty five cents for it at a garage sale quite a while ago. It took a long time to sell, but it, for twenty five cents, not bad for uh, twenty one seventy four total paid by the customer. For this guy, I'll just take an eight by six by four inch box. Put it down in there like that and call it a day. Seven ounces on that one. Okay, then I sold this uh, vintage uh, 1993 Leonard Toys Magic Math Multiplication. Paid a buck or two for that at the thrift store, I believe, or if I remember correctly. Uh, 2170, no, 2129 total paid by the customer for that. I'm gonna see if I can wrap this up to make a first class ship. I believe I will be able to.
right at a pound. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave any interesting comments down in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one.